101 Minecraft build hacks. Sorry if you know any of these. Number one, you can use string on top of a cobblestone wall at any point in the length of it to create a pillar, meaning you can create some pretty cool patterns for your animal pens. Number two, you can place fence gates in between cobblestone walls and the two connected to the cobblestone wall will be slightly lower than the other, meaning you can make slightly arched fences. Number three, if you place banners either side of a fence gate and put a wall over the top, it can look like a hanging towel, or you could put a banner straight on the wall and it also looks like a towel. Number four, above a cauldron, if you place a lever or a tripwire hook, it looks like a tap. Number five, you can use a cauldron hanging over a well and it looks extraordinarily like a bucket. Number six, you can place signs either side of any staircase to make an instant chair. Number seven, you can make a crate using only trap doors if you place them in a flower formation and activate the ones around the edge, or you can place one on the top to make a full crate. Number eight, you can place a detector rail on top of a furnace and it looks like a hob to cook on. Number nine, this one's slightly more tricky. You can use armor stands as a very unique decoration tip. By using pistons to push certain blocks in a certain order on top of them, you can create a pretty cool balustrade. I've got an entire video on this if you're interested. Number 10, you can make another chair by using trap doors either side of, again, any other staircase and place a door on the back to make it high backed. Number 11, you can have a different interior palette to your exterior by making your walls two blocks thick, and they can be vastly different as the exterior should cover it up. Number 12, you can use multiple layers of colored glass to create a foggy or smoky effect for larger builds. Number 13, when you're building a very simple house, make sure that it's at least three blocks high on the inside so you don't hit your head. Number 14, by attaching a lead to a animal underground and attaching that same lead to a fence above ground, you can create a visible rope like I have for this tent. Number 15, you can use a gradient of different colors of stained glass to create a smoke effect or you could use cobwebs to also look like smoke. Number 16, by building the exact same thing opposite each other with a layer of glass directly in the middle, you can make it seem like an optical illusion and make it seem like the glass is actually a mirror. This is a very cool effect. Number 17, you can use custom heads to look like fruit and attach them to plants to make them look like berry bushes. Number 18, unconnected redstone around a skull looks suspiciously like blood. Number 19, by using coal ore underneath a cauldron, it makes it look like an extinguished fire. Number 20, red terracotta as well as netherrack looks a lot like a slab of meat. Number 21, by placing a series of signs over some broken windows, it makes it seem like a house is very run down and boarded up. Number 22, by placing some carpets over the top of glowstone, you can retain the light without having to see the glowstone on the floor. Number 23, if you place down weighted pressure plates and some flower pots onto a table, it looks a lot like plates and cups. Number 24, by placing some wooden trap doors either side of a window, they look an awful lot like wooden shutters, a great detailing technique. Number 25, if you mix in different kinds of leaf blocks, you can make some custom vegetation that looks very nice. Number 26, by placing a skeleton head backwards and an end rod underneath, it looks like a little lampshade. Number 27, by placing a cauldron down, a spruce fence gate and opening it, it looks like a very small wheelbarrow. Number 28, most of you probably know this already, but if you have a farm, you can place carpets over the top of the water or lily pads on top of it as well so that you can walk along and not drown in it. Similarly, in number 29, you can hide the water underneath one part of the wall of your house. Number 30, you can place buttons on pretty much any surface along a path or on rocks to look like little pebbles. It's a very neat detailing technique. Number 31, you can use banners of any color to create curtains by placing them directly below each other either side of a window. Number 32, this one is gonna look kind of rubbish because I've only got a small waterfall, but if you take cobweb and place it at the bottom of a waterfall, it kind of looks like the water vapor that comes up and gushes out into the air as a cool little effect. Number 33, 
By mixing in multiple different textures on the same color gradient, such as all of these whites and grays, you can make some really cool different terrains. Number 34, by mixing in very similar but subtle textures into the walls of your builds, you can make some very nice detailed structures without having to do too much depth. Number 35, you can make a hanging flower pot by using a grass block, putting a flower on top, and surrounding it in wooden trap doors with a fence gate over the top. Number 36, by mixing in multiple textures again into the floor along with some path blocks, you can make an awesome road. Number 37, by replacing the fences with fence gates between each fence post, you can make a better fence. That was a lot of fences, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Number 38, a very simple one, but by putting a carpet on top of a fence, you can make a very quick small table. Number 39, you can decorate your torches on the wall by adding an item frame and then adding an additional item in it, such as an anvil or a trap door. Number 40, buttons, especially wooden ones, make a very odd but great way to detail your furniture and buildings. Number 41, using shulker boxes is a very expensive way but cool way of detailing certain industrial style builds, such as this pipe. Number 42, you can hide secret rooms behind paintings by adding some signs and then putting the painting over the top. Number 43, you can make a parasol by alternating beds around a post with a flower pot on the top. It's great for any kind of beach or summery style build. I do know it's December. Number 44, you can make a bed or a sleeping bag on the floor by laying down carpets and some snow at the end. Number 45, you can add any sort of flowers around a house that isn't particularly full of color and all of a sudden the palette will pick up and it will seem a lot more bright. Number 46, you can use TNT and ignite it on your friend's house to blow up his stuff and run away before they kill you. <laughs> Can't believe that one, I, I don't know why I added that. Number 47, you can use string as an almost invisible prop to place things like carpet and they look like they're floating in mid-air. Number 48, using world edit or command blocks, you can change the data value of certain blocks to change their texture. For example, this wood is now all six sided. That is 17 colon 12. 49, you can build a little secret base underneath a tree just by putting a ladder underneath. Number 50, you can make a pergola using signs placed one after the other attached to the end, so it looks like the entire sign is one thin plank that goes through two props. Number 51, you can make an enlarged portal just by simply making it larger. It does not have to be the minimum size of two by three, you can make it much bigger. Number 52, this is a trick for all of you pranksters out there. By placing any kind of flower that is two blocks high, placing gravel or sand or any block that falls on top of it, and removing the bottom most part of the flower, the gravel or sand will then float from that point on and you can make it fall at your leisure. Number 53, you can use hay block on roofs to make them look thatched and old fashioned. 54, we're going back to some building basics right now, so apologies if you already know this if you watch my videos, but we are going to be going over framing. Adding just a simple block in the corners and around the outskirts of your build can add a layer of depth. 55, when you're building your roof, instead of doing on what there is behind us, we add an overhang, meaning that the roof extends well over your framework, so it adds another layer of depth. This wall is now three blocks thick. And when we do our overhang, we also add some upside down staircases as well. Number 56. As your builds get larger, it becomes increasingly difficult to deal with as a whole. For example, this one is an incredibly large section of wall with a massive A-frame roof. So to break this up, we need to add a little bit of shape into the structure itself. So I've added a small rectangle and then matched the height. And that means that the roof is then more naturally going to sit in three different sections. This is a very useful tip if you want to build larger structures. 57. When you're building the foundation of your houses, don't start with just a simple square. Start off by adding lots of variations in the shape 
and create something that's more interesting than a simple square. Number 58, if you've got a balcony that's sitting there like that with no support, add in a few bits of staircase and slabs to make it look like it is actually supported by the build. Number 59, when you've got a simple house and it starts to get slightly bigger, add in lots of variations in the height as well as the variations in the shape. This is building off of what we've just gone over. The more variations in every single dimension that you use in building, the better your house will look overall. It will look way more detailed and structured. Number 60. We're going back to the normal hacks now, don't worry. <laughs> if you want to create some little cabinets, you can use item frames and then put a wooden pressure plate in them and they act like little handles. Of course, you can't use them, but they do look pretty cool. Number 61, on a very large scale build, you may not want to use water as it is a slightly darker shade. You could use stained glass to mimic it. Number 62, you can make a little fridge by adding two iron blocks and an iron door on the side. Number 63, if you want a decorative pile of logs, add some rails over the top to make it look like it's tied down. Number 64, adding some custom ponds, rocks, pebbles and vegetation is a really great way to decorate the surroundings of your builds and make them seem a bit more in touch with nature. 65. The best way to make a house look run down or abandoned is by breaking some windows, boarding them up like we did earlier, and adding leaves as vines draped over some of the broken blocks. Number 66. Adding some slabs along the pathways between layers is a great way to make the walk a lot smoother. Number 67. Wooden planks in a 2x2 formation or just some spruce wood on its own along with some note blocks in also a 2x2 formation is a great way to make some crates. Number 68. You can make a sun lounger by adding a banner at the end of a coloured bed. 69. You can make a dripping effect by having some water above a block in a shower. Number 70. You can name an item and put it in an item frame and it will label the building you have created. Number 71. You can use a different block on your base layer and it looks like you've got a proper foundation to the house. Number 72, you can make a pretty cool looking lamppost by adding a beacon on top of a series of fences and then you can decorate them as you wish to whatever style you're building in. Number 73, you can take any tree and make it more textureful by mixing in all the different kinds of leaves into it. Number 74, I'm surprised at how many people aren't aware of this little trick. But if you've got blocks in game, you can middle click them at any point to instantly add them to your inventory. It is a very, very useful technique for quick building. Number 75. When you're building, there's usually two options, a two block center, which will result in you having two doors, or a one block center, which will result in you having one door. Both have their benefits and their downsides, and it's personal preference which one you want. Just make sure you are aware of it. Number 76, the underside of a quartz staircase is actually a different texture to the normal quartz block, which makes it quite a nice floor. 77, instead of making a normal oak fence as we normally do, you can create custom pens by adding a series of slabs, staircases and cobblestone walls to make a very rustic looking fence. Number 78, this is a very clever technique. You can create a tiny but very detailed arch by using two hoppers either side with a cauldron over the top and it is a very nice looking tiny archway. Great for a small scale build. Number 79, you can place a load of anvils in a line to make it look like they are all connected into a balustrade. Number 80, you can put letters on banners and then add them to make a sentence. Number 81, you can place signs inside the floor and then add carpets over the top of them to create a pattern in your flooring. Or you could make them look like snooker cues on a table. Number 82, you can create an awesome scarecrow design by having your standard pumpkin with a couple of banners on the front and the back and then create a hat with string and carpet. I'm going to name him Gerald. Number 83, you can put stained glass over a beacon beam to change its colour. Number 84, you can mix in some soul sand with your animal pens and it looks a lot like poop. Decorative poop. 
85. You can make it look like a fence is open by adding a bunch of iron fences together and then have a little bit of a glass pane there as well, making sure that they bend round the corner. 86. You can use blocks such as the dropper and the observer block to look like little faces. Here is Fezbot. Isn't he cute? Number 87, you can create some small custom trees by adding some leaves on top of a fence and then some vines on top of the leaves. Number 88, you can create a really cool cupboard by making some upside down staircases on top of each other and then covering it with two oak doors and two trap doors on the top. Number 89, if you have an archway for a door, you can place two iron doors behind it and two trap doors with some levers and you can cover the entire space. Number 90, you can use an activated pin piston between two chairs to create a cool custom table. Number 91, you can create small wooden sheds using only spruce doors. I'm not really sure why you would do this as you can open it at any point, but it does look fairly cool. Number 92, you can create stacked chests on top of each other by alternating between normal chests and trap chest, utilizing the space for your storage. Number 93, you can use green concrete powder mixed in with some of the normal grass as it looks to like just a slightly different shade of green to the normal. Number 94, you can use end rods as a prison bar system. However, you can walk straight through them so they are aesthetic only. Number 95, you can create stalactites and stalagmites inside caves by using cobblestone wall effectively from the roof and the floor. Number 96, if you have a large section of wall, you can break it up by leaving in some hanging fences in between the middle to break it up a bit. Number 97, you can create another custom little flower by having a cactus in a pot with two leaves on top. Number 98, you can make your builds look a lot more weathered if you include some staircases into the same block of wall. Number 99, building off of the nether portal we made earlier, you can cover up the corners to create a custom shape for your nether portal. I made an entire video on this. Number 100, you can use wooden trap doors as shelving units as well as using some slabs as well to put your chests or anvils on top of. And finally, number 1, 101. If you've made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. The final tip for you is to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I know. it's It's got to be done. My channel has tons more to offer you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you learn at least one thing from it. At least one. Thank you again for watching and goodbye.